Hey, good morning. Today we're going to take a look at the Wilson Combat Grip Module for the SIG P365 pistol. Look at that, huh? So, let's get started. A couple of weeks ago I did a uh, review on my SIG 365 and you know what? I forgot to mention that, you know, you can customize these pistols very easy. You can pop out one little pin and the whole trigger assembly comes out. Uh, the trigger assembly includes the uh, disconnector, the sear, but it's, it's one unit. You could take that out, put it in a different frame. That frame can be larger, smaller, it could be a different color, a different brand. So it's really a pretty cool system. After I posted my video, some of my viewers said, Hey Mexip, you ought to look into the Wilson Combat grip module for your pistol because, man, it just really has a good feel to it and it might fit your hand a little better than the smaller uh, SIG grip. So I thought, all right. So I looked into it, ordered a uh, Wilson Combat grip module. They run about 65 bucks, and uh, I've got it installed. I have not shot this yet, so pretty anxious to put some rounds through this. But right now I'm going to show you a short video where I'm going to compare the SIG grip with the Wilson Combat grip, and then we'll come back out here and put some rounds through this and uh, see how well it handles. So, I will see you guys back here in about seven minutes. Wilson Combat grip module for the SIG P365, and it does come with instructions. And this is what it looks like right here. Yeah, look at that. Not much to it, but I'll tell you what, it's very well made and it looks really good. Now, I do want to mention this comes with the uh, magazine release, but you have to install it yourself. And if you look at your original pistol, you'll see, uh, you'll see how it, it, it goes together. There's only three pieces and there is a spring inside, so easy to put together but you might have to watch a YouTube video but that's what that looks like right there so let's go and take a look at my SIG P365 this is a uh, NRA edition I bought five years ago really love this pistol and of course she is unloaded so, you know, I, I really like this. I wish the grip was a little bit uh, thicker, maybe a little bit wider. But it, it, for the most part, it fits my hand pretty good. But it's not perfect, but pretty dang close. So, you know what? Let's, uh, let's take this slide off. And we can compare this with the uh, Wilson Combat. First thing I'm going to do is take out this piece right here. This is called the uh, fire control unit. And to remove that, all I have to do is punch out this pin right here. And lift up on the back. And look at that. It comes right out of there. Now this fire control unit is actually considered a firearm and that's because it, it does have the serial number on it and this does have a special NRA serial number. So you know to replace this is really quite simple. You have a, a couple notches right here on both sides right there and those notches fit into these little tabs. There's two of them, two metal tabs. And when you put this back in, just kind of tilt it up a little bit, push it down, and it should click into place just like that. And then put the pin back in. So very easy to take out and very easy to put back. All right, next we're going to take a look at both grips here. And there is quite a bit of a difference between the two. You can see here the uh, Wilson Combat is just slightly longer here at the back end. And it does have more of a, uh, a beaver tail grip on it. But check this out here. Um, especially this area right here. Check out the difference in the thickness. So that makes a big difference right there. And also look at the back end right here. If I line these up. 
there's quite a bit of difference there so the Wilson combat grip it's it's fatter and it's also wider you can really feel the difference when you uh, put the two grips in your hand side by side this feels much better and the texture is quite a bit uh, more aggressive than on a SIG. Now if I take the SIG magazine, this is the uh, 12 round magazine, and I put it in, you can see it's, it's flush all the way around with the, uh, with the grip frame. Now if I put this magazine in the Wilson Combat, you can definitely see it's thicker on both sides and it's also uh, sticks out quite a bit more in the back end yeah got a really nice good feel to it all right now i'm going to put the fire control unit into the uh, wilson combat uh, grip but i'm not going to do that on camera because youtube might put restrictions on my video but you've seen how easy it was to put this in so i'm going to do that i'll be right back all right there we go see how quick that was let's go ahead and put the slide on oh uh, look at that i tell you what i really like that two-tone color so we went from this to this i tell you i really like that but there's one thing i don't like and let me show you that okay so if I take my 12 round magazine and you'll notice the color is it, it's off a little bit compared to the uh, slide now if I do this you know what I have kind of a three-tone colored pistol and you know what I really don't care for that so let me show you what I did I'll be right back so I went to Hobby Lobby I bought this tester spray enamel now this is made for plastic models and I got the uh, flat dark earth flat dark earth you dumb it <laughs> I went to Hobby Lobby I bought this testers uh, spray enamel now this is made for plastic models and this is the uh, flat black number 1249 T and what I did was I painted the base plates after I took them off and you know what turned out pretty good I did it with several magazines so now this is what we have yeah I'll tell you what that that looks much better I really really like the looks of this so let's put in this 10 round magazine we went from this to this yeah I do like that so you know the fit on the magazine isn't perfect but you know I don't know if somebody makes a base plate that will make that look a little better but you know what I don't have a problem with that especially the way the pistol feels in my hand now really really like the grip on this so you know what let's get back out to the range and uh, put some rounds through this All right, you know, like I said, I have not shot this yet, so I've got my earplugs in, I've got my 12-round magazine in. Looks uh, looks really cool out here, especially especially in the sun. So let's put a few rounds through this and uh, kind of get the feel of it. You know what? Seems to have less recoil than the original SIG grip. Get a good solid uh, grip on that. Feels really good. Yeah. Ooh. I tell you what, I can tell you right now. I'm probably never going to put the uh, original SIG grip back on this. All right, let's try this 10 round magazine. The uh, base plate is a little bit smaller than on the 12 rounder. Yeah. 
Yep. You are staying on there. Well, there you go guys just a short simple video but i'll tell you what I, I do really like this i highly recommend it wilson combat you guys did a good job thank you very much in fact in the future i might get the uh, longer version that takes 15 round magazines and i can use the same slide and barrel but with 15 round mags that would be pretty cool all right guys thanks for watching my video hit that like button and uh, we'll see you next time